Hi, I'm Borderman. Today we have another pop culture blind bag from Best Buy. Now this one doesn't feel as big as the last one I got, which you can check out that video over on the channel. But same concept, twenty-five dollars worth of stuff. It's only ten dollars. It probably will be kind of like the other one where it's like a bunch of loot crate stuff. But hey, should be good. Hopefully it's not bad and hopefully I don't get anything duplicated. But it's apparently totally rad so we should expect something very very nice. For those of you who are new, I will put down the bag. I will not look ahead of time. So it's just a mystery for us all, and then at the end, I will link all of the items from worst to best. And let's see what will be the first item today. Also, real quick, yeah, this is a bit more of a bland, different place. I'm trying to see where the best lighting is, so you will see some different locations in different videos, okay? What the heck? Oh my, it's a Jaws ice tray where you can make a little Jaws and two other things. Um, it's okay. I wish they went a bit like better with it and like put more detail because if you guys can see on the inside, there's like no detail on any of the extra things so I don't know if there will actually even be much detail for the jaws itself I think at least this is a nice tray I'm not exactly sure so that's a little disappointing it's pretty cool though um it'll at least be cool to put somewhere I don't know I only am assuming this is a nice tray some of these things in these blind bags don't come in a package so that kind of sucks but hey maybe I can Google it, figure it out. Next item. Oh, sick. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nice little pin with the baby turtle who's breaking open. Leonardo, my favorite. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. And uh, even though it's a Nickelodeon version, if you can see, it's like, it's for anyone, really. You know, it doesn't really have much of a uh, design for any of them, so that's pretty cool. I really like this. Man, the Luke Ray pins are just so well detailed, actually. I gotta give them some compliments, there. They do really good, and I really like the um, ideas that they have for these designs. Like, they don't, like half like go halfway you know just be lazy because like it's just oh we're just showing you know just the ninja toy's face like they try to make a custom design try to make it cool i wonder if there's four different ones or if this was just one made either way that is actually really cool i'm actually really enjoying this one so far uh no of course the first duplicated item the Die Hard cards. I'll show these off just for those of you who uh, didn't see the last video. Um, they're okay. There's uh, you know, a few people I can give these to. Um, just like that, some good detail. Stuff like that. I'm not going to criticize. I got something duplicate. You know, it's a blind bag. You got to expect these things. Uh, if you want to see me go into a bit more detail, I did another video. And I also did a... Uh, Gaming blind bag from Best Buy, so if you can also check that one out, I would appreciate it. But yeah, I'm not gonna be mad. Um, I kind of like expected that I would get some duplicate. And I don't have anything that's not the worst, because I already gave the other one away to someone, so I can either keep that, give it away, you know, it's not too bad. Okay, we got a G.I. Joe Cobra. Bottle opener. This is actually really cool. Oh, the back is kind of cool too. By name, classified. Primary fucking 
bottle opener. That's actually really cool. Very shiny. So they didn't, you know, look like they have uh, way with this uh, material. Which is good with a bottle opener. Because if they were a bit lazy with it, it would probably break. Um, looks like it's not in perfect condition. I don't know if you guys can see. There's like a um, nick in it. Or something. Uh, that's not too bad though. You know, especially speaking, it was once cupped there and then it was, you know, put into this blind bag, shipped to Best Buy, all these things, you know. But, um, I mean, I think this is also the last item, so I'll look. Yeah, it is. So, also, like, this is not the best keeper of anything, so. This is actually pretty cool. I enjoyed it. And now let's rank the items from Wolves to Bus. And overall, it's actually it's pretty good, so I'm excited to rank these. Okay, before we continue, um, we just got word. This is a drain stopper. I don't know which direction you put it in, but that's actually really. Because I don't know like if it would go like inwards to like stop the drain, or if it would go like. Th I mean, okay, it'll probably go like this. Oh, uh, that's actually really cool. Cause then, like, you would just see him just at the bottom. I like that. Okay, we can continue. Starting off with the worst item, I feel like this may be a controversial one. But listen, this is really cool, great item. But at the end of the day, I feel like most people don't need a bottle opener. I personally don't. I don't even drink soda in like a glass bottle, so I can't even use it for that. I mean, it's like a cool item and all, but it feels like one of those items that like people will get excited for, like, oh, that's so cool, you know, but it will then be put to the side and not really used. So I'm ranking this last just purely on functionality. Is this, eh, and also like with it being so flat, you know, it, I, I think it would have been better uh, with my first guess of this being a pin. But, um, is this, I don't know, it's one of those items, it's not bad, but due to, like, it's just, it's not exciting. Next off, the trading cards. Nothing wrong, they're just good trading cards, you know, I just feel like someone who's, like, a die-hard, die-hard fan, see what it is, I feel like you're not really going into, like, the, like, a loop box trying to get stuff you know at least that's a typical diehard fan so i feel like this may not have been like the best thing chosen i mean they chosen like a cooler thing you know trying to get the cards from the movie i just felt like they could have done a better thing i don't know i feel like though, if there's any like i can't think of a better pack of cards maybe gambit or something but, uh, going purely on the fact that if you base everything together, Jaws, G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, Die Hard, like, Die Hard's kind of the outlier in a way. Even, like, I feel like Jaws is kind of closer, so that kind of is why this is going next. I just, I guess can't make it higher. I don't know. Next up, this is going to be surprising that this is not number one because it's using the big items as number one. Listen, this is what have everyday use, but at the end of the day, really, it's not the coolest item. Like, it's kind of like the same thing with the bottle opener, but at least like this is like kind of funny. But like, who really? Outside of it, like, outside of it being so unique, which is the only reason why this beats out the G.I. Joe bottle, bottle opener, is because, listen, you can get bottle openers pretty cheap. I feel like that's also the thing with this one is, I don't think this is $25 worth of stuff. This is probably, like, would be sold for, like, at most $4. This probably for, like, because it's, like, a pop culture thing, maybe 7 uh, the pack of cards, those are here. It's going up in price. I'd say about like five. And then like the pin, I would say. Is about, yeah, I would say five, seven, 
So I wouldn't say this is the most quality box. It's like kind of like all the like the extra stuff, and like you didn't get like that nice little item. I feel like they could have organized this a bit better. But uh, when this, it's not like the bottle opener. It's so unique it goes up a little bit. But the functionality, at the end of the day, like it just can't put this any higher. Finally, I know this is gonna be controversial that the pin gets number one, but it just. They did a lot of work, honestly. I think, first of all, if it didn't have that many details on it, it would definitely be ranked lower. But the details and quality speaks for itself and puts it just above the rest. Just because, in the end of the day, it just got to, you know, like the quality of it all kind of changes a lot of things. Overall, I'm satisfied with this one. I really liked it i feel like though the only problem i would say is i'm not sitting here like yeah woo got this this and this like it just kind of feels like okay nice and dandy i don't know i would still continue to get these blind bags i think there's a uh superhero one i haven't seen it again i saw like maybe a month or two ago didn't pick it up kind of wish i did so maybe that'll be something i do in the future um I mean, they're giving Loot Crate stuff for like $10. Like, at the end of the day, I can't really complain. So, and at the end of the day, if we split the $10, it's like I'm paying $250 for each thing. And at the end of the day, that's pretty worth it. You know, so at the end of the day, I got my money's worth. I still like these bags. But caution to anyone who wants to go and get one, you probably won't get the same thing. These are very random. So, the only thing I appreciate is that they did pop culture, gaming, and superhero to try to separate. But when it comes to pop culture and the gaming one, you really can get pretty much anything. I think the superhero though one is kind of a bit more narrow. So, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have been Bordeme. Subscribe if you want to see any more unboxing videos, react videos, or you know, just everything in between. Let me know in the comments below if you have anything I should try to unbox. Also, leave it in the comments below. But most importantly, have a good night.